As the days get shorter, it's a sure sign winter is on the way. And that means more songbirds will be taking advantage of bird feeders. But is it safe to feed them after a mysterious summer illness? Storm Team 10's Everett Lau tells us the latest from state scientists. The Indiana Department of Natural Resources encouraged Hoosiers to stop feeding birds earlier this summer. Now, the agency says it's safe for people across the state to get their feeders back out. Back in May, state officials were getting reports of sick and dying birds in Monroe County. State ornithologist Allison Gillette says the event came on suddenly, but they wanted to prevent possible spread quickly. Because we didn't know exactly whether the disease was infectious, we decided it's best to probably take a cautious approach. She says birds were showing signs of conjunctivitis, which she described as a gooiness and crustiness of the eyes, as well as swelling. Uh, these particular symptoms were being seen mainly in juvenile birds, of uh, birds that visit feeders, and hence again why we put the moratorium on songbird feeding. Gillette says Hoosiers helped track the disease and identify hotspots. We had more than 4,300 reports over the past two and a half, three months or so, which is amazing. She says urban areas saw the most cases, but trends have been improving. We were seeing far fewer cases of birds with those particular symptoms occurring each week. Now, research continues as to what is causing the condition, which Gillette says will take some time. If you find sick or dead birds in your yard, DNR biologists still want to hear from you. They say public reports can help track this outbreak and identify new diseases. We have a link to the reporting form on our website. That's WTHITV.com. Reporting in Vigo County, Everett Lau, Storm Team 10.